Now in this problem, we're actually gonna construct a confidence interval. It states, a clinical trial was conducted to test the effectiveness of a drug for uh, treating insomnia in older subjects. Before treatment, 24 subjects had a mean wake time of 104 minutes. After treatment, the 24 subjects had a mean wake time of 78.9 minutes and a standard deviation of 21.2 minutes. Assume that the 24 sample values appear to be from a normally distributed population and construct a 99% confidence interval estimate of the mean wake time for a population with drug treatments. What does the result suggest about the mean wake time of 104 minutes before the treatment? Does the drug appear to be effective? Okay, well let's go ahead and open up StackCrunch. We'll put in all our information. Okay, so now in StackCrunch, we're going to go to Stat, and now we go to T-Stats. Since we're dealing with the population mean, we're always going to go to T-Stats. If we were dealing with the population proportion, that's when we went to Proportion Stats. So we go to T-Stats. What we have here is one sample, and we're given a summary. So now let's go ahead and put in the sample mean. So the sample mean was after the patients already took the drug treatment. So mean wake time, 78.9. So that's 78.9. And then the standard deviation, 21.2. And then it's asking about the sample size. Our sample size was 24 subjects, so I put 24. And we want a confidence interval for mu. And our confidence level is 99%, so I have 0 0.99. And then I'm also gonna click on show critical value, so you can see that it tells us what the critical value is as well. Now I go ahead and click on compute. And now I have my confidence interval right over here. This is my lower limit and this is my upper limit. And then it also tells me what my critical T value would be. So my lower limit, round to one decimal place, so I have 66.8. And then my upper limit, which is 91.0. Okay. And now it's asking about the effectiveness of the drug. So what does the result suggests about the mean wake time of 104 minutes before the treatment. Does the drug appear to be effective? So the confidence interval, it does not include the mean wake time of 104. So we can see 104 is above our upper limit before the treatment. So that means that before and after the treatment are different. If 104 was included in that confidence interval, that would mean that the before and after treatment could be the same, but since 104 is above that limit, they are different. So this result suggests that the drug treatment has an effect. So since that 104 minute mean wake time is not in our confidence interval, that means that the drug treatment had an effect on the results.